Everybody go to our breakfast. <laughs> Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it's another vlog video, but this time it's a travel vlog, not solo, but it's a travel vlog to Vegas. Yes, I'm spending about 48 hours in Vegas. The big thing on the menu, big thing on the agenda is the Usher residency, which was supposed to be his last show when we booked it. Now it's it's not at all, but nonetheless, I'm sure it'll be an amazing show for my very first time in Vegas. I've never been there before, but this is going to be a fun and exciting journey that you guys get to come along with. But first, I want to address a comment I got in my last vlog, and it was like maybe two vlogs ago. I don't remember, but it said, you go on a lot of solo trips. Do you just not like group trips? And the answer to that question is, I think I go on a lot of solo trips, but I think it gets overshadowed the amount of people trips I go on, unsolo trips that I go on. I've probably bought you about half as many non-solo trips as I have solo trips on this channel. I've gone to multiple cruises. Last year was my first solo cruise, but I've brought you at least two cruises with people. I've gone to Disney World. I've gone to Cabo. Went to New Orleans last year, going to Vegas now. Went to DC for Broccoli Fest a few years ago, all of which have been documented on this channel, but I do get it. It does feel like I go on more solo trips than anything else, and that's the whole thing. That's the it question answers itself. The reason I go on multiple solo trips is because it allows me to go on more trips. I've gone on trips to, where did I go this year? Uh, Puerto Rico. I went to Toronto, Niagara Falls, Paris, London, soon to be Jamaica. Solo travel allows me to go on more and more adventures. Travel is something that's close to my heart. And I do have great friends, amazing friends who I love to travel with. And I do every year go on a trip that includes friends and people. But solo travel just allows more. How many, if you guys comment down below, how many group trips do you get to go on a year? And if you go on like six or seven group trips a year, then you're probably an anomaly. But you probably go on about one to two trips with your friends a year, which is great and awesome. But I get to go on like five or six trips with friend trips thrown in there because I like to see places that maybe my friends aren't interested to see or our PTO doesn't line up. Long story short, I love, I love, I love group trips. But going on solo trips just allows you to open yourself up more and not be limited for things to get out of the group chat or limited into compromising on decisions on where do I go or where do we eat. Shay, who's my friend who organized this, is probably the best person I love to travel with because we're so like-minded on things. She already made reservations for us to eat at Carbone's and Toca Madera and she's good about, she was good about Cabo. I was just along on the journey for Cabo. She planned pretty much everything. She's planned pretty much everything with this trip so I can just kind of relax and you know not have to worry about planning excursions or lunches and it's it's a great feeling to kind of just be along to, to, to send my money and be along on the journey and those are my favorite trips and that's what trip we have going on today if you want to see and explore with me as we go through vegas and just go through it with my lens my first time goers lens just keep watching
wanna go deep into it. Get you in me inside. You deserve it. I'm in line.
and also the tacos that restaurant me and you and just went to two restaurants ago at the um the, I got the little wagyu tacos and they were about these size. Maintain chips. Yeah. It don't taste bad. It's just not. It's not necessary. I don't know. I know this gonna be blasphemy, but I don't like plants, and I have tried it over and over. Oh, and I, I keep trying to make plants things happen. I try. time to speak but I wanted to update you on everything that you probably have seen so far because these 48 hours in Vegas was just perfect enough you don't need more than I don't think you need more than two days three days probably is pushing it you need three days max and then you're done because Vegas has been fun but it's been tiring tiring as well but let me give you the little 411 on what has occurred because i have not spoken in the vlog since i left on friday and it is now sunday and i am getting ready to check out but um let's talk about everything that has gone down that you guys have seen so i left charlotte at 11 the people that i'm with they took the nine o'clock flight and i was like oh my god i'm gonna miss so much because they're gonna get here two hours before me they had literally checked in like 30 minutes before I had pulled up. I couldn't take the 9 a.m. flight like everybody else. I saw the 9 a.m. and I was thinking about it, but I wanted to drop off Winnie that morning. So getting there, dropping off Winnie before going to the airport, the 9 a.m. would have been tight. 11 was just perfect. And again, I got here like 30 minutes after them. So they were just checking in when I got here. So I landed. We are staying at the Aria. You probably seen the verbiage for Aria everywhere. It's on every single thing. I am staying at the Aria Hotel, which has been an incredible hotel when it comes to proximity, when it comes to food options, but let's get into it. I started out with, what was it, Dim? Dim, I'm gonna put the name on screen right now because I cannot remember it at all, but it's a Thai place, amazing. I really enjoyed the dumplings. I've been in such a dumpling mood lately. You saw my last vlog, I had the dumplings. I'm in like such a dumpling, pork dumplings. The second time I got shrimp and pork, and then I got just shrimp fried rice, which was good, but I had needed to eat. I needed to put something on my stomach before we went to, we just kind of walked the strip. We just kind of grazed along the strip just to see things before heading to 
dinner that night? Did we do dinner right after that? Is anything before dinner? No, I think we went to dinner. We went to dinner at Carbone, very popular restaurant. Caesar salad, known for their Caesar salad, known for kind of some of their pastas as well. Really good Caesar salad. But at that dinner, I decided to vow off liquor. So your girl no longer will be drinking uh, tequila or no kind of um, liquid. My my friends, people who I was with know, know the story. Not everybody need to know the story, but the story is... um. Oh, I'm still drinking my wine and my Prosecco, but you probably will not see any more tequila. Tequila is the only liquor I drank because I thought I could, could you know, liquor, that's my liquor of choice. I don't need to experiment. I don't need vodka, rum, all of that stuff. You know what? We have to retire tequila as well, but huh, the wines are still going to be whining. Trust and believe. But um, the food really would love to go back to Carbone to really kind of soak more in, get more in absorb some more of those flavors but carbone was great next that night we went to jewel nightclub so we kind of went to the in-house that's the aria nightclub if you stay here you get to just walk on in they do have like general mission all of that too it was hip-hop we're kind of you know kind of our music type night so it was it was pretty straight and then we went to sleep probably laid it on down but we got up bright and early the next morning went to brunch i'll put the restaurant name on screen again now me is barely remembering it, but I remember those cocktails being great. I got some great cocktails, which were more champagne, you know, mimosa type cocktails. So nothing hard, no no tequila sunrise for me that morning. So it was great in terms of that. I just had a basic breakfast because I didn't need to kind of, the night before, I, I needed something regular, regular food, regular food. So I just got that, but they had eggs benedicts, but those drinks. And then we kind of walked the strip again. I wanted to go see the Bellagio because I wanted to see the fountains at the Bellagio. Um, I just, growing up, I saw Ocean's Eleven. So I was like, oh, let's go to the Bellagio. That's where the fountains are. I want to see the little thing. And I'm sure it's better at night. I'm 100% sure it's better at night. But you know, we have plans. We had plans that night. Came back to the room after kind of walking around, rested a bit before getting ready for dinner. We went to Togo Madeira for dinner. I love a good Wagyu taco. Any place that has a Wagyu taco, I'm going to get that Wagyu taco. Even though them tacos are going to be about $30, $40 for like two little two little sides of your pinky tacos. Oh, I'm going to eat a Wagyu taco. So I enjoyed that. The ambiance was everything. Just, again, both of the hotels, Carbone is in Aria, Togo Madeira is in Aria. We didn't even have to leave the hotel for these experiences. And then we headed on to the main of that you know it's how we own you know who i was here for it i mean vegas is vegas but i want to see usher usher is the guy usher as to be expected did not disappoint the man did not disappoint show 10 out of 10 recommend definitely the catalog of hits there are some times where i've been at concerts and it's like these is deep cuts like these ain't my songs like you know there might have been two on his on, on this show that i was like i didn't listen to as hard i'm familiar with the song but if he had come up to me and had the mic in my hand maybe i would you know skip a, maybe not know all the words but that's two out of a huge 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 catalog where i i love usher i love i love him I love him. And he still got it, man. That man still got it. He still has it. And you know, you know what it is. If you, you know what it is, it is what it is. It, 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 what's understood doesn't need to be explained, but the man got it. That man got it. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was it. Concert started roughly, you mean doors open at eight. They say the show starts at nine, but that's when the DJ kind of gets hype. And then he came out maybe around like maybe nine. 35 ish and then the concert was over maybe 11 40 ish so good time good show he really did take as many breaks as you would think he would need for how you know he was skating across the stage he was doing everything you would think he would need to take like a little interlude like there would be a little lights come on he needs a break type situation and there was none of that how we went to jewel for a little bit i don't know if i even filmed it because i was i was so tired y'all i gave it all i could give like i had been up since 6 a.m I gave it everything I could give it, but I give my first Vegas adventure, I say 10 out of 10. It's been great right now. Oh, it, my, I'm like here by myself because you're like, where's your friends at? So they took the 9 a.m. flight here. They took the 6 a.m. flight back. 6 a.m. Not it. they left here at 6 a.m. No, the flight left Vegas. The, the flight departed from Vegas at 6 yeah i don't i can't do that i gotta sleep i know i know you can sleep on a plane but i can't it, it will be it will be marred i just i don't mind losing the day the issue is that you lose the day really if you leave at say like a noon you leave at a noon it's 
it's three o'clock in Charlotte if you were to leave at noon and you still have to go there you're not getting back home until like seven if you leave here at a noon but it is what it is I don't mind it I don't mind it because I got to sleep in and kind of relax I can say something in here has been sparking my allergies we don't know what it is but I took a Benadryl last night and I feel better than I've probably felt at the evenings when I went to sleep like the night before last it was just I don't know. I don't know if there's feathers in the pillow. I don't know if there's dust. Before I came in, um, my friend had done her little Lysol. She's a cleaning person. She's a. You see her sheets are different. She brings disposable sheets to put on the bed. So she leaves the sheets, just brings the sheets. She, she, she did her cleaning routine before I even got in here. She is own it with the stuff so I love traveling with her because I know the room's gonna be clean I know I, I'm not gonna see no dust so now I'm just gonna go eat at the place that the buffet has apparently become it's called proper eats it's a food hall so I'm about to check out and head out So I am back home. I have my cookout that I'm ready to eat. So I'm ready to sign off of this vlog, but I wanted to cover just my final thoughts. One, I did lose my entire day just because I had to come back and the time that I lost all of that. But nonetheless, I was probably just going to chill at home anyway. So it's not fully a loss. I go and hit the grind and sign on to work tomorrow. So normal work week coming up. But I digress with the flight. I don't know if you guys know this. And if you did, why didn't y'all tell me? with t-mobile if you have t-mobile we get free wi-fi on the plane this whole time my whole times i've never been on the plane and just like bit the bullet and got the wi-fi because i was like it doesn't even matter i'll sit i'll sit without wi-fi for a few hours why did y'all not tell me so you get four sessions that you can use for unlimited throughout the whole flight. So if you have one flight that's like four hours, you have one session that you can use and that'll take away one of your sessions, but you get four sessions a year of free Wi-Fi for the entire flight. But once you use it, it's gone, but you get unlimited uses of one hour of free Wi-Fi on a flight, which if it's a six hour flight, that's only one hour. But if it's like a two hour flight, you had an hour of Wi-Fi. Like, why y'all didn't tell me? I could always be using Wi-Fi. I was on that plane, like, look at that TikTok video and the speed was just it was speeding it was very fast so very much so a win if you have t-mobile and you fly american airlines baby i didn't and that's all i fly why didn't i know the second thing i wanted to address with aria being so close to park mgm i think it's a great hotel if you're thinking about going to usher in like december because i know he's extended his residency um the aria very close in terms of walking distance it, it kind of funnels through and you don't have to even go outside it's like completely through the hotel aria connects to the park mgm where the concert is at the dolby if you stay at the park mgm though you're right in the hotel too so either or but i think aria was such a good hotel like again 10 out of 10 recommendation on that hotel proximity everything it had just overall good hotel. And the final thing I want to address is gambling. You didn't see me do any gambling. You're probably like, you were in Vegas. Where's the casinos? Where are the casinos, girl? I'm not a big gambler. I thought I would go maybe and do like a quarter dollar slots, three dollar slots, but just wasn't time. And I wasn't like pressed to do it. I was like, I'll do it just to do it, but I'm not going to sit at a machine for like 30 minutes and choo, 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 or whatever, press the buttons. Most of the casinos, I think if not all outside of the park mgm park mgm made a conscious effort to post everywhere that they were smoke free or they were the only smoke free i think they said maybe the only or one of the only smoke free hotels and casinos in the city but them other hotels maybe it's a smoker's den aria is not smoke free so you know <laughs> you walk through cough 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 and for somebody who has very bad asthma like me i'm not gonna sit here and just 
pull this lever in the midst of a whole bunch of smoke. So no, ma'am, I'm just not a big, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to gamble with my money. I like to invest it, like to save it. I don't like to gamble with it. I'm not a big gambler. So if I had done anything, I probably would have done like a dollar, but I didn't go there for the gambling. I went there for the usher and that delivered. I went there for the food that too delivered. I went there for 48 hours. I, I don't think I need any more time. I don't think I needed anything else to do. I've seen and done Vegas. That was fun. Very fun trip. Gotta give a shout out to my friend Shauna who planned this trip amazingly. This is, I know I solo travel a lot, but if there was anybody I'm going to travel with, it's her because I just leave everything in her hands. We we need to give her her flowers. We did it at dinner. She planned the hotel. She booked the hotel. I didn't have to book any hotel. Made all the food reservations. Didn't have to do that. Bought the tickets for residency. Didn't have to. I mean, of course, I'm a cash up friend. I just want to cash. If you tell me what the thing is, I'll cash app you. My cash app just ready to go. I'm ready to cash app, but I don't want to plan. So she did a good job. But if you enjoyed this video, like I enjoyed my trip, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't, still give it a big thumbs up. We don't like no haters. We only want love and support. We also want you following so you don't miss anything that I have going on over here as well as your subscribe. So again, you don't miss anything that I do and have going on. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Lelevon89 so you would have known I was in Vegas a little bit sooner. Follow me on TikTok as well, Lelevon, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.